Welcome back everyone. So in the previous video we managed to install Windows Longhorn build 4074 in its entirety. So now we have ourselves a completely vanilla installation of 4074. So in this in this build you got things like a sidebar, you got the slate theme, you got a leaves background, you got this thing, you got a start menu, you got a bunch of stuff. And in fact, if I look closely here, it seems that clear type is enabled by default, unlike on XP. That's actually a good thing. Now, there's another thing that I've noticed that's a little bit odd compared to like the last times I've tried this. The uh, the Ethernet adapter doesn't seem to work right out of the box, yet it's worked before. It's probably just a one-time thing. I'll figure it out eventually, but for right now, we're not going to worry about that. For now, we have, but with this vanilla thing, you can do some things and it'll work. But what if you want to do more, especially with integrating this thing into the virtual machine? Well, to do that, we'll insert the guest edition CD image. Go to start, computer, should be in this drive right here. Now, there is one stipulation. If I were to try to run it as is, it's going to try to install the Windows Vista drivers because, well, if you go into, like, uh, say, Winver here, It'll actually say version 6.0, and that thing there looks for version 6.0 to say it's Vista, but really, this is actually just a glorified version of Windows XP, just with some enhancements. So to actually get around all that, we're going to have to right-click here, go to Properties, go to Other Properties. Yeah, th this is where Longhorn differs from the other Windows versions. It has, like, this special menu for, for the properties. Yeah, it's kind of weird like that. We're going to run this kind of thing in compatibility for Windows XP. And click OK. And double click it. And it's going to tell you, hey, welcome to the setup. You can now set up the VirtualBox installation edition thing. So I click Next. Next. It says right here, enable Direct3D support for guests. We'll get onto that later, but for right now, we can't actually install that. It requires it to be in safe mode. Now, you can't actually install this in safe mode either because for some odd reason with the WinFS and all that, because it's something to do with WinFS or something along those lines. It might have to do with WinFS, it might not. But essentially, the, the flag that says run this in compatibility, compatibility mode for Windows XP does not work in safe mode on this. In fact, safe mode is completely broken on this machine. So, we'll get to this eventually. But for right now, we'll just go ahead and install these guest editions normally. And so, right now they're being installed. And this is one of those security alert things, driver installations. This hasn't been probably assigned with Authentico technology. Yeah, you don't have to worry about those. Just click install now. I'm just going to give it a few moments. Executing the video driver. Install now. Yeah, this is going to take a few moments, and there we go. We're done. We can now reboot the virtual machine. Now, there's one other thing about rebooting this virtual machine. Once we start it up, what's going to happen is, is that the uh, little tray icon and stuff won't actually run by default. So we're going to have to track that down and actually run it in the startup somehow. There's ways to do that. There's one way through the registry, another way through the start menu, and a third way through group policy. But we're just going to go ahead and just do it the start menu way. Because that's how we do things here. Huh, didn't even show the little loading bar. How strange. And then here we are, inside the desktop. Now, as you can see here, it installed the mouse drivers correctly. So that's actually a good sign. That means they've installed. So you go to computer. You go to local disk. Give it a few seconds. Or it can freeze. That's a good that, that's a good way to doing things too, you know. Yep, it is frozen. Oh hey, cool. Can I close probably because they're not responding? Do you want to force Windows Explorer to close? Sure. 
And hey, look, this is like this is like uh, the Longhorn version of the send report dialogue. Now, of course, Microsoft doesn't actually acknowledge this anymore. But here's a cool thing. See that logo up there? That that's actually a I think that's actually a placeholder from MS Hearts. But yeah, that this is not MS Hearts. It's just send error report. It looks pretty neat, but you can tell it's definitely beta. Let's click send report. I don't know how it sent that report since there's no internet on this thing. But we shall wait for Explorer to come back online. If it does. And if it doesn't, we'll just have to go through we'll just have to go do a manual override. Actually we're just doing that right now. Manual override. Or, you know, the entire thing could break. That's a good start. Yeah, sorry about that. Something glitched out. But that's to be expected when you're doing everything off the cuff and uh, everything's pretty much beta hardware or beta software at this point. Or heck, it might not even be beta. It could even be alpha. But for right now, it seems to be working again. But let's try to be careful. Let's give it a few moments. Nope, I'm the recycle bin. File, close. Open up computer. C colon backslash. For some reason, it is not liking this, which is quite odd because I've done this before on another installation. So maybe VirtualBox updated somehow. In such a weird way that it's not actually going to work anymore. That's kind of sad. But we'll just wait and see what happens. In fact, I'm just going to go check something real quick. Uh, well, it seems like everything else is still working. I switch the classic view. Or not. That also works too. And then everything can stop responding. Uh huh. Nope. That's not working either. And now this stopped working. Oh hey! We got somewhere. It did something. And now everything just slowed down to a crawl for some odd reason. Bug, what does that do? Register JIT debugger is not found. Just in time debugger. Port of Jew. Oh, it's trying to find the debugger. Uh. Force close. It's not gonna send that report. Well, this was pretty eventful. Well, I can't exactly scrap the recording now, so... This is kind of odd, if you ask me. But I guess I probably should have did more testing before I did this video.